as far as I've been able to determine, kissing probably began somewhere perhaps uh, 1,000 or 2,000 uh, years B.C. The earliest written records that indicate anything that would approximate kissing comes actually from some very early documents from the uh, northern part of India, the country India. And in those early documents, such as Rig Veda, uh, they talk about people that are actually sniffing. They call it sniffing each other. And essentially what they're doing is they're rubbing their noses across the cheek, across the nose, and then across the other cheek. You come forward in time about a 1,000 years, and then we begin to find um, in the writings, for example, in the Kama Sutra, and even a little before that, by that time, they're kissing on the lips and they're doing it very erotically. The Kama Sutra has over 250 different passages that all uh, talk about kissing, and this is uh, the, the date of the Kama Sutra is kind of hard to pin down, but it's a little bit before B.C. or a little bit after. When Alexander the Great uh, conquered some areas of northern India, um, he was probably exposed to kissing, uh, the, the Greeks were, and the Macedonians. And so what happened is after Alexander died and the, uh, the, the army broke up and at the beginning of the Hellenistic period, his, his generals moved to various areas, including the Middle East, and went back to Europe and so forth. And it seems obvious that they probably carried this custom of kissing back with them because there's nothing in the written record before Alexander the Great, at least in Greece or Macedonia, that talks about kissing. But then after the uh, conquest by Alexander the Great, we began to see kissing reflected in the writings of the ancient Greeks. And then certainly by the time the Romans come by, they were probably the most kiss-oriented culture in the world. It was the Romans then who spread kissing throughout Europe because... The Celts and the barbarians, as they call them, the Germanic tribes, none of those cultures kissed. The Romans had to instruct them on how to kiss. Them. And then when the great age of exploration with uh, Columbus and everything, we found that no one in the New World kissed. They all had to be taught as well. Even in places of Oceania, like Tahiti, some of the first accounts of people going to Tahiti found that they were very promiscuous. They thought nothing of having sex. But the thought of kissing horrified it because they thought that you were trying to suck their soul out of their body. So having uh, sex was nothing, but uh, kissing, uh, absolutely not.